Okay. So, I really want to do this Blood Mage tank thing. But we need the right items for it. We also need to support them with good DPS. I like the Warlock, but the Warlock needs something. Who is a good contender? Honestly, maybe the Frostmancer. If only because the Frostmancer slows enemies down and stuns them. Gives him more time to heal. Now let's go Magician, as always, and... Roll into that? <sighs> Probably. Yeah, let's just roll along the top. This game is, uh... This game is merciless, especially at higher corruption levels. I think what I'm going to do is probably cap out uh, at corruption 7 and then go back to a lower corruption level just so I can play around. I don't really... Ooh. Oh. Hi. Okay, Symbiote. Symbiote is amazing, but on who? I'm going to put it on the Warlock. I don't actually think... Well, I don't know. I don't actually know if the Warlock is the right one. I, I really want to do a Symbiote... Uh, speed Amulator, Whirlwind Axe, and then Witch Stick on Warlock. Because if I can pull that off, we end up with a Warlock with stupid damage and healing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess... Mystery Machine all the way? Oh, this is boring. That's probably for the best, though. Yeah, the Frost Mage is definitely helping better. Ooh, and Brain Sage. Okay, we'll stick it on him. There's Brain Sage for bonus healing. Let's go for the normal battle. I'd like to go to the random events, but we need items. Without them, we are daunt. No way about it. Hey, these guys are doing decent. Hi. Okay. So, Starry Songbird is another alternative. For making the Warlock. I could get a second symbiote. But I feel like the Starry Songbird synergizes slightly better. Gain an ancient item. Every nine times you attack, deal 250 damage to all enemies and apply burn for 250 attack damage over 10 seconds. Oh. Okay. I'll have to try that on a speed speed demon build. Because that could be really good. Okay. So bear is spooky. But ain't gonna stop me. Okay, we get another Brain Sage. I'll take it. Go with that. Elite Battle. Speed Demon Frost Mage sounds good. Yeah! And give him Ragnarok? We'll have to change some things around to make it viable. There we go. Uh, let's see. Go with that. Give him the ability so he can heal better. And we have a shop. Not nearly as much money this time around, which is tragic. So here's here's the tough thing. Saint's Vow is incredible on the Blood Mage.
Esoteric Keystone. Yeah, we gotta do this. I need a lot. Okay. So now we... This guy actually almost has a completed build. We just got to get him the Witch's Stick. This guy is interesting. We probably want to just increase his attack damage more than anything else. I, we'll see how this goes. Because, yeah, potentially increasing this guy's max HP makes him real spooky. Yeah, they hit the back row first. Okay. Let's grab that. Give it to him? I don't know. What else we got? Kind of doesn't matter which direction we go. So this is weird. Oh, I should give... I should give the Warlock... At least one of the uh, brain sages for the time being. Yeah, let's grab a fool's crown. Chuck it on him. Give him that. Because he gets more mana, so we want him to heal. Okay, so now we need cheap upgrades... And ability orbs. Let's see. Ooh, and an oaken knot. Don't mind if I do. Obviously, Fool's Crown probably works better for him. Okay. Upgrade his ability. That's kind of the last one I wanted upgraded, but I'll I'll take it. I don't really have much of a choice. Okay. Almost got it. There we go. I guess we'll go Soul Slicer. We also get the Royal Remedy. Let's go this way. Because we don't need any more items, but I could potentially use something cool. Fight for the Viscous Goo. Goo for it! I don't actually know if the Muck Morphers are that dangerous. No, they weren't. I don't actually know if the Viscous Goo is really that good on Blood Mage. Alright. Time Warden Golem. Should be okay. Keep watching. Can't help but remember the drawings my friends made in middle school. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely got that, like, uh... Ooh. That's done. All right, Warlock. Now, these are some options. So, we've got the Calamity. I should probably go Avalanche. Avalanche is just way too good on the Frost Mage. We might have to 
switch out his item, though, but that's okay. So who do we bring with? So I could bring a bard just for the passive damage bonus. It wouldn't be great, but they wouldn't be terrible. We could go Ranger. I could go for Assassin just so I don't have to think about them. Because yeah, Bard would cost me some ability orbs. So we could do Assassin over here. Or I mean kind of wherever. Yeah, we'll do Assassin, then we'll do Bard. And then we'll try and tank up the Bard. Okay, let's give him the ability orbs, because he's the one that needs them. Uh, let's see. Okay. Give him the avalanche. Probably give him the Ragnarok. Okay. We're definitely going to have to upgrade the, uh, the Frost Mage some more, but... Giving the Frost Mage Avalanche should make him just do tons of damage. Alright, let's go Ace of Coins. And we want to hit up... We're not going to be able to hit up everyone. So let's hit up these. And then hit this shop last. Okay, let's go with those three. Oh, the one consideration is potentially giving the assassin Ragnarok. He attacks fairly often. Oh, we're in trouble here, aren't we? That sucked. Oh, I could have gotten another oak knot. But we'll take the hatchet. We might just be in trouble here. Yeah, let's actually give him Ragnarok. Because we want this guy to attack fairly quickly. I don't know, I think we're going to just lose our morale here. Oh, there's the Whirlwind Axe. I think the big issue is the Blood Mage just isn't living long enough. He can't get his ability off. That's the issue. Ah. Yeah, Blood Mage just does not start strong enough to tank with his, with his spell. Yeah, so let's... Let's try that one more time. Frost Mage was a good idea. Let's do Frost Mage, Blood Mage, and Paladin, because I think the Paladin will offset a lot of this. And he takes defensive items. And then we'll go Warlock, and then lastly, Bard. Unless we get other things, but I think that's a good one. Oh, boy. Yeah. I, I feel like the the start of this game is always the weakest. That if you can't get those first couple of upgraded items, you're kind of in a really bad spot. It makes it difficult to work around. Uh, let's go for the Brain Sage, just for the healing. Stack it on him. And I think I really did need that shop. That really late shop with a lot of money. If I can get that, it puts me in a really good spot. If I can't get that, I'm just in trouble. Ooh. I'll just do Mage, Se Mage Seeker. Ouch. 
I guess we should probably start putting the Paladin just in harm's way, maybe. Okay, go down a bit, because I want to fight the mid-boss. We have to fight the mid-bosses. There's pretty much no way around it. Okay. Hey, go, 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 Paladin. You're a tanky sucker. Ooh, ooh, Saint's Vow, right off the bat. Go for the event? Nah, let's go, let's go for a regular fight. We still gotta give him, uh, extra mana regen. And honestly, just giving him the mana amulet that we admittedly just passed up on probably would be the other trick. But I want to give him the extra maximum HP. Okay, let's give him the gauntlet. So we have Liquid Courage. We'll probably pop Liquid Courage almost immediately. Just wail on him. Yeah. Ooh. I put the Blood Mage in front when I shouldn't have. Okay, that kind of works out. Because this guy's poison is... rough. Let's see. Go for the burn, go for the bleed. Probably go for Serrated Reaper and give him the transfusion. Okay. Then swing up here and go down. Hey, we get three elite fights. If I can pull it off, we're good. Duplicate Saint's Vow, lose the defensive gauntlet. Duplicate Brain Sage, lose Mage Seeker. That one's tough. Because we don't want the Enchanter's Chainmail. That one's not, not that helpful. A second Saint's Vow certainly makes this guy an interesting healer. We don't need Defensive Gauntlet that much. Okay, and... Ancient item, lose six morale? Yeah. Ooh. Who has the cheapest ability among us? I mean, him. I'll have to think about this, but Hedros of Fury is insane. We're going Wild Mage next, I think. Let's see. Hey, Wander, how you doing today? I'm doing good. It's very dry in here, which is a bit of a downer, but the rest of my life has been fairly comfortable. I'm trying to decide what to do after stream, because today's going to be shorter just to preserve my voice. Uh, well, there's the witch's stick. Okay. I think I know who who we're building. Oh, right. Gotta give him the ability to orb. Okay. Oh, why did I... Why didn't I give him the witch's stick? Yeah, it's fine. There we go. So what do we want to do? Let's go with that. Let's just load this guy up for the time being. So... Eh. Maybe I'll be fine. Yeah, we'll still roll Warlock. I was considering going Wild Mage, because the headdress is insane. But giving that to the Warlock for extra crazy healing seems like a good idea. We just gotta get his attack speed up. 
been snowing where you live for the past 28 hours. Damn! Uh, let's get the gauntlet. Pop it there. Do we... Switch that there, give him the gauntlet. Okay, do we go to the shop? Probably. I'm just not sure who to get it on. Or what to upgrade. Upgrading the Saint's Vow could be really interesting. Upgrading the Witch's Stick gives me mana. I'm feeling the Witch's Stick. Or we just ignore it for now and go shopping on the next tier. Let's go shopping on the next tier. So I've never seen snow, what's it like? I That always boggles my mind when people say that, but snow, yeah, it's like it's like sand, but it's cold and it melts into ice, uh, or water. Um, snow is equal parts one of the most inconvenient things that you can experience in life, and also kind of just one of the most peaceful and magical and beautiful things. Oak and not. Let's see. Now, how to how to describe it fully. I mean, I, I think that kind of general distract, uh, description of kind of like sand. Or wet sand, maybe? Yeah, snow is great. Snow is evil. It really depends if you have to deal with snow. Or if you can kind of just ignore its existence. Because from my perspective, I absolutely adore snow. It's beautiful. It has this kind of really cozy feel to it. Like, obviously, Slitherfang Kunai is great, but a second Witch Stick? A second Witch Stick. The Kunai would maybe be really good. That's fun to visit, not to live in. Uh, let's see. Let's max HP for the next combat. Now let's lose the 7 morale. These are really good. Let's go with that one. And swap out the gauntlet. Honestly, maybe even swap out the brain sage. Yeah, dirty snow is worse. Yeah, I really want to live in an area that gets snow, but doesn't need to be plowed much. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to think about where I want to live in life. Because, yeah, dirty snow sucks. It's not pretty. Start of the Deep. At the start of combat, gain 15 frail attack and 15% frail attack speed. No. What we do want to get is the Maiden's Mirror. Because the Maiden's Mirror on the Warlock, or not the Warlock, uh, on the Blood Mage could actually be really cool. Okay, let's give this a shot. Okay. More gold, more healing, shield, or reduced merchant prices. Okay, next up. Maiden's Mirror on that. I don't know what I'm going to do with the extra Saints of Al, but that's fine. Witch Stick, Witch Stick, head, Headdress of Fury. Oh, these are unique. That's good to know. Shoot. Okay, let's finish upping that. That's good to know. Okay, 
So I've got a decent amount of money. I say we go battle, 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 event, merchant, into the elites. Or we tough it out and try and go for this, this merchant here. That's a toughie. I... No, let's go for this merchant. We're gonna need that power spike. Is popping in and out of chat called lurking? Eh, kind of. Depends a little bit. Lurking is generally people that, like, really don't say anything. They're just kind of there. Ah, oh. eh, that's fine. Just barely lost him. But that's okay. Do we go for the Impaler? Or... No, let's go Crossbow. Crossbow's real good. But, I mean... I, I guess I would still say... Uh, popping in and out is kind of lurking. Yeah, you know what? Let's give him the Mirror... Because I think giving the Blood Mage just the maximum HP works better. Though we might want to give them the Mana Spring Amulet. We'll have to upgrade it though. That's the one downside. That said, this is working better. Having two tanks makes a huge difference. Especially if one of the two tanks has ample self-healing and is team healing. Ooh, Champion's Guard. I like it, but I think I'm going to skip it in favor of the Hero Sigil. Mainly because I can sell the Hero Sigil for just a bit more. Okay. We want the scim scimitar. We don't need the regalia. The reason why we want the scim scimitar is you can give it to the bard and it makes the bard insane. shopping. Yeah, we need the power boost. And who knows, they might have amazing things. There's also the rever reverberating bulwark, which is also really good. Okay, so I'm gonna take that off. Let's see. Let's just sell some of this stuff. Because I, I think maxing out the Blood Mage is probably my best move. I'm not sure if I want to do another Saint's Vow, though. Maybe we do buy the Reverberating Bulwark. I feel like going for pure Saint's Vow on this guy would be fascinating. But maybe we upgrade something else in the meantime. Forget to save up for some mana items on the bard. Oh uh, yeah. I 
I think I'm just gonna hope that it shows up. Uh, let's just upgrade the Headdress of Fury. Good luck, me. Okay, so now the Blood Mage should just be Beast Tank. Yeah, I, I should upgrade the other Saint's Vow. Because the thing is... He heals like crazy. Uh, let's just grab one of these. Okay, give him the Ripper. I guess only immediate downside is his attack damage isn't that amazing. But it doesn't really need to be. Yeah, look at that mana gain. That's so much better. Okay. Extra damage equal to 30% of your defense. I mean, that's pretty good. We'll just grab the hatchet. Okay, elite fight. Who are you? It's you. That should be fine. This guy does do the... Oh, wow. This is working incredibly well. Okay. Uh, let's see. None of these are special. We'll just grab the gold. We have an, an ability orb, but I think I might want to save that for the bard. Yeah, let's just be... Let's be silly here. Let's just go full Saints Val on that guy. Okay. A regular fight or event? Let's go for regular fight. Let's just try and grab what we can. Fool's Crown, Stun Barb, Chain Mail. Don't really care for any of these. What we need is one of the speed items to make the Warlock good. Now, unless I'm mistaken... No, he does... Okay. Heal for 1% of max HP every 2 seconds, increasing the effect by 1% every time. I think get, getting hit by an attack has a 20% chance to reset the ability. Ah, that's why this guy sucks. I think I'm going to bottle blizzard him. I've always wondered why this guy can uh, skunk my bot back line. The real answer is just the blood mage just eats, eats his hits, doesn't even care. The defensive gauntlet. Okay. Let's go for the event. See what we can get. I'm really digging the blood mage here. Yep. Absolutely absorb that. Uh, let's see. Now, if we go up here... They all aim for the Paladin anyway. Good luck, I believe in you. I think I'll do a Fortifying Brew. This group has hurt me before. There we go. 
Mage Seeker. Who do you get safety slime? Let's go for the event. Let's see what we get. Approach. Kill the bandit. I okay. Hero strike the bandit with his back turn, looting fifteen gold. The vagrant jumps to his feet as the guards arrive. His broken bones clattering with every movement. After exchanging a silent glance, the guards and vagrant turn to attack the heroes. Man, how does this one even work? I do not know. All right, let's grab the holy water. Okay, that should be enough. Trying to not drink those potions unless I absolutely need to. Is there a goodly a hey, mana spring? A decent amount of bonus money. All right, what are we up against? The hudge. I'm still hoping we can get our hands on a whirlwind axe, though. This guy, the warlock, needs to attack faster. To really make himself obscene. Okay. Seeker of Virtue. We got a lot of morale. I'll grab it. Okay, and then we're going to grab the Bard. Because we can make it so the Bard's song gives a decent damage bonus. Uh, let's see, extra gold or extra healing? I'd like the extra gold, but let's go for the extra healing. Okay, next up we're going to beef up the Bard. Honestly, I might actually save that for a sale. Give the bard that. Give him the sword. So now he actually does a ton of damage. Give him the mana. And then we'll just do defense gauntlet or something. I don't know. We'll probably sell those. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, no, no. I was going to give him that. This way, he can do his battle ballad way more often. Okay. So, we're going to want to swing top. Not the most ideal pathway here, but I'll take it. Heals the weakest adjacent. Shoot. Yeah, I don't like the whole adjacency thing. Makes it really difficult to actually pull off the healing that I want. Uh, let's see. Tundra Talisman. Oh, we didn't look at the major blessings, did we? Go for the Tundra Talisman. Yeah, unfortunately, all of these enemies are split up. So what are these major blessings? And do they go away? Yeah, they do. So ultimately, I would say the Seeker of Virtue is kind of a neat idea. I'm not sure how much I want it, though. Got the Unstable Orb. Let's keep doing just random battles for the time being. Okay.
You want to give him the heal? For this one, yeah. I think so. Oh, those are some big heals. Thank you, Bardic Song. I hate these guys. <laughs> they are infuriating to fight. Okay, every two times you attack, Frost or Burn. Yeah, let's do that. Put it on him. Okay, and then swing the events. Hey, thank you, Yahagi Shino, for the 500 bits. Wanda, I need help coming up with the D&D character. Been a DM so long, I've gotten rusty. Any interesting ideas or inspiration? Ooh. Um. Gosh. That'd be a good one. I guess it kind of depends on the, the type of campaign. I always like good, good warlocks. They always kind of throw people off. Because no one really knows, like, how to react to the idea of that. Um. Jeez. Who and what else? No, I'm gonna give him the blessing. I don't think this mirror is actually helping as much as I'd like it to. Wow. This got messy. Let's see. Grab the Slitherfang Kunai. Uh, let's see, do we go shopping? I could go shopping. Yeah, let's go shopping. Because we need to get him a speed item. Bad. Life-giving chamber is certainly interesting. Are these unique? Yeah, they are. The battle bard became a healer at some point. Because I needed it. He's not actually a very good healer, though. Yeah, so we should probably... Switch the bard back over. God, the bard sucks. <laughs> Okay, do we wanna... Nah, that's not gonna do much. Ooh. Maybe we upgrade that, though. Yeah, let's make the Paladin a bit tougher. I don't think we're going to get it, the attack speed item that we're looking for on this run. We'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky, but we're very quickly running out of chances. Okay. I probably should have increased the mana gain on this guy. Wait, does Battle Ballad not have a duration? Oh. Okay. That might actually be really good.
Yeah, Scimitar is canceling it, but it lasts the whole battle. The thing is... Uh, this is going to be butts. The thing is, I don't need Scimitar on the Bard. Or, I, I don't need the damage on the Bard. That The damage is really, truly for everybody else. Okay, so that does make the uh, Bard considerably stronger. Than I was giving him credit for. Okay, switch him here. Pop that. That should be good. And Paladin being immune to most status effects is huge. Not immune to stun, though. That part sucks. Okay. Get a Mana Spring amulet. I... Maybe I'll put it on him. Okay, we go for the event. Yeah, I'm trying to think of... Good characters. Unfortunately, I've been DM for far, far too long. Realm Tooth would be fascinating. I don't think I want it. Let's just drink. Because our next fight is a uh, mid-boss as well. There's Warlord's Burden. He had no attack speed. Well, let's sell the mirror. Let's give him the Witch Stick. Let's sell a lot of these. This is the last shop that I get to go to. So I'm kind of donked. On the build that I wanted to roll. But that's okay. Okay, let's start upgrading some things. Namely, gotta gotta upgrade that. Okay. That should do. I don't think we have anything better. Elite. Okay, good luck me. So, this does leave us with a paladin with a fair bit of healing, potentially. And, yeah, frontline bard for that just crazy damage scaling is actually insanely good. I'm actually, I'll just give him that. Let's go for the event. Let's see what we can get. Anything that increases my max HP would be lovely. Alright, we'll just take the speed. I think I've got this run in the bag. I could be wrong, but I, I'm feeling pretty confident. Okay, Mimic Hoarders are a bit spooky. Shit, we might... we might lose this fight. <sighs> Ouch. Huh. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, let's just take off the saber on him. It's not helping. Do we not use the skill orb? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, this way the bard can scale his own damage as well. Gosh, yeah, I'm really trying to think of like D&D characters I'd like to play. I think I just like to be a character. 
That's that's the real thing that I'm kind of stuck on for a while. I love it how the Blood Mage is just scaled entirely around being a healer. Or just being a giant, horrid meat wall. Still out damaging almost everything on the field. Also, I think he got up to like 3,000 max HP there. It was high. Grab the, uh, the mark. I'll put it on the bard. Okay, who do I even use this on? I guess the bard? Unfortunately, the bard, yeah, just does not do harm. Oh, right. Uh, can I put the bard here? No. Oh, good luck, bard. He's probably gonna get wrecked. We'll see how it goes. Maybe he'll survive purely through merits. I'm not actually sure who's healing him here. No, he lived. I think the paladin just kept him alive. <laughs> this again. I feel like after the first couple of corruption levels, she should just not say anything anymore. Wait, why did I place myself like this? Uh... Oh, here's hoping for the best. How much damage? Wow, that warlock does dangage! I think I lose this one. I've never actually lost to this boss before. I save and quit. What happens? Is this a Slay the Spire situation? Oh, thank you. That's all I needed. I forgot to bring the Paladin down. Because the Paladin can tank the hits, especially with the shields and the healing from everybody else. Uh, unfortunately, Blood Mage has very low defense and just gets clobbered. Their main benefit is just acting as a secondary blood blood bank. Yeah. Positioning matters. So, despite the attack damage bonuses that my bard potentially had there, absolutely worthless as a damage dealer. That paladin shield. I... Don't give it enough credit, but it apparently actually was so much better than even the amount of healing that the Blood Mage was giving off. Or the Warlock was giving off. So, note to self, potentially builds Paladin entirely around mana gain instead. I'll try that again uh, sometime in the future.